everyone i'm anthony good day good morning good afternoon good evening whatever time it is where you are welcome to quick phonetics learn the basic sounds of the english language and practice your pronunciation with this quick lesson focusing on specific phonetic symbols learn new words by reading from these symbols and increase your vocabulary the right way with your new words and the correct pronunciation. Okay, hello everyone. Today we have a uh, uh, diphthong, air, er, and uh, a consonant, ch. So let's get started right away with the uh, presentation and we'll look at this uh, first symbol uh, which is uh, the consonant T which is also a sound it's similar to the sound but then we have the long S sound which is like the sh so this symbol represents the sound in the words chair Chinese and check okay and let's look at some other words check cheap charm watch much question okay you see that it can be represented in different spellings Let's look at the other symbol, uh, the diphthong. It's a very, very slight diphthong. Uh, some don't consider it a pure dip diphthong, but uh, you'll notice that there's no underline here. Uh, this is air, air. It's a little bit shorter. It's like in the words chair, hair, air. Let's see some other words. Men, mare, when, where, fair, chair. Okay, a little bit closer the Ch sound is palato aviolar sound, the tongue tip, the blade, and the rims of the tongue close against the alveolar ridge and the side teeth. The front of the tongue is raised, and when the air is released, there is audible friction. The soft palate is raised. Ch is unvoiced and fortis. The sound is called a fricative, which occurs when two vocal organs come close enough together for the movement of air to be heard between them. Okay, so ch. Actually, this is a little bit closer to the alveolar ridge. This is on the teeth, so it's a little bit closed here. And that's where the friction comes to make the fricative. The tongue is fully raised and a lot of pressure. Okay, fortis. Let's look at some other examples. Church. Nature. Okay, and the diphthong or the sound air. Uh, this characteristic glide begins in the position for e, eh, and then it moves backwards towards the schwa a. Uh. The lips remain neutrally open. Okay, so if you see in the mouth, we have a little glide from the mid position towards the front of the mouth, eh, and it goes into the schwa, eh, 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 and in fact, the lips don't really change. They just remain neutral, eh, eh, okay, so, uh, Examples, where, where, chair, 
der stair there okay let's practice listen and repeat care care best bears which hair air chairs shop step stairs chop okay so practice that uh, you have similar sounds step you have this long diphthong long sound k uh, it's similar but it's a little higher than the e e okay let's uh, now do a little identification exercise i want you to imagine which of the four words i'm saying i will repeat the word and then show you which one it is so here's the word f i repeat f did you catch it F. Okay. Number two. Fair. Fair. Okay. Did you catch it? Fair. Number three. Check. Check. That's right. Check. Number four, watch, watch, hmm, well, well, watch, I think that's a mistake, yeah, this one is a mistake, this should be the O, it should be like this, sorry about that, watch, we saw it in another slide, number five, Wash, wash. That's right, wash. And the last one, care. That's right, care. Okay, let's take home some vocabulary. We have listen and repeat, check, cheap. Charm, watch, much, question, men, mare, when, where, where, dare, stare, there, Cur. Care. Best. Bears. Bears. Which. Hair. Air. Shop. Chop. Step. Fair. Fair, chair, church, nature, hair, okay, I hope you enjoyed it, practice those words, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to receive the emails that will tell you when the the presentations will be uh, on YouTube, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Practice, 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 and